In this video, we will try to solve a question that was asked in Gate Economics paper of 2022. The question is like this. Assume that the cost function for iPhone in an industry is given by CI is equal to 0 0.25 QI square plus 2 QI plus 5. This is the cost function of IT industry and I uh, is from 1 to 2 up to 150. That means we have 150 individual and identical uh, Thermals in an industry, okay? Uh, where CI and QI is the cost and output for eighth firm respectively, okay? Uh, let the aggregate inverse demand function be. This is our aggregate inverse demand function. That is P is equal to 10 minus 0.01 Q, where P is the unit price and Q is the aggregate output. We are being told, assuming the perfect completion, what will be the equilibrium quantity in this market, okay? So how can we solve this very function? We are being given the demand function, but we are not being given the supply function. We know that equilibrium could have occurred where our uh, supply function and demand functions would have intersected with each other. But we are not being the, given the supply function. That means we need to create the supply function first. Okay, how can we uh, find out the supply function? So this is the cost function. Let me write it here. So uh, let us write it like this, C is equal to 0 0.25Q uh, square uh, plus 2Q plus 5. I have just uh, uh, dropped down the subscript and we know that we have uh, identical uh, firms uh, in this industry. So let us uh, write this without subscripts and let us say it is any firm, okay, in this very market, okay. Now we need to firstly, firstly find out the individual firm's supply curve, okay? So individual firm's supply curve can be found out by first we need to find out the minimum, minimum of ABC, okay? We need to find out the minimum point on ABC. And why does that very uh, point lie? It is very simple. As we know, if this is quantity here, let us say this is our average variable cost, average variable cost. And let us say this is our marginal cost, okay? And also we know that uh, supply curve in perfect competition for a firm is the curve of marginal cost which is above the minimum of ABC. So this very stuff denotes our supply curve. That means minimum of ABC will be at a point where average variable cost and marginal cost in the sector okay that means we need to find out marginal cost is equal to a b c okay simple thing so when the marginal cost and a b c intersect with each other at that point uh, we have this very marginal cost which is above uh, the a b c our individual firm supply curve okay what is marginal cost simply the derivative of this cost function with respect to q so i will write it here so 2 into 0 0.25 comes out to be 0 0.5 q plus the derivative of q is here one so we are left with two this is our marginal cost and what is average variable cost you can see here this stuff is here fixed cost this sorry this is our variable cost and this five is our fixed cost okay we don't need to do anything with this fixed cost so our a b c will be equal to c upon q which is a 0 0.25 q square plus 2q and to this we we divide q okay simple thing that means abc will be here equal to 0.25 so q and q square will get cancelled so 1q will be left here uh, plus here also q and q will get cancelled we are left with this very thing so marginal cost is equal to abc this will give us the supply curve for individual firm okay now let's solve it for q if we solve this for q so we have 0 let me write it here 0 0.5 q minus 0 0.25 q uh, so this 2 and 2 will get cancelled here okay so it is equal to 0 which implies 0 0.25 q is equal to 0 which here implies q will be equal to 0 okay so we got q is equal to 0 when marginal cost is equal to average variable cost that simply means for q greater than zero marginal cost function 
will be the entire supply curve okay that means uh, if i can rub this graph out so this does not depict our uh, this very function here so we have linear uh, uh, linear functions here so this is our marginal cost is intercept is two let us say this is our marginal cost okay and this is our average variable cost simple stuff intercept is also to a b c and we find out that q is equal to zero when q is equal to zero uh, marginal cost is above a b c that means this very uh, mc will be our entire supply curve for individual form okay all said then now what we need to do we also know that in perfect competition in perfect competition price is equal to marginal cost okay we know this stuff here which implies p is equal to marginal cost is being given us as 0.5 q plus 2 now let us follow this very function for q which implies let me write it here which implies our q will be equal to q is equal to if i transpose this here this becomes p minus 2 so 0.5 uh, becomes one half so this will be multiplied with this okay so you can think uh, how did i derive uh, solve this for q simple thing i just manipulated this very function for uh, q okay this is our this is the individual firm's supply curve okay now how many firms we have so this is individual firm supply curve that means our market supply curve let us denote it by q will be equal to number of firms we have 150 so market supply curve is simply the summation of individual supply curves okay so uh, q will be equal to number of firms times individual firm supply curve that is uh, 2 times p minus 2 here okay so this comes out to be uh, 300 p minus 600 okay this is our market supply curve i hope i am making myself clear so we got this as the individual firm supply curve and market supply curve is simply the summation of individual firm's supply curve and we got this market supply curve okay we are being given the market demand curve also so our market demand curve is being given us here now equilibrium will occur when demand and supply will intersect okay so this is our supply curve this is for industry and this was obviously for uh, what we call uh, for the firm okay individual firm so this is our demand here so this is our demand function this is our supply function okay let us solve this market supply uh, curve for p here okay so let us solve this for p that means our 300 p is equal to if i transpose this here this becomes 600 plus q or p is equal to 600 upon 300 uh, plus q upon 300 okay simple algebra here so this gets cancelled that means p is equal to 2 plus q upon 300 okay so this is our market supply curve when we solved it for p okay this is our demand function this is our supply function so equilibrium will occur while demand and supply is equal to equal uh, sub demand and supply are equal so we have this uh, uh, 10 uh, plus 0.01 q should be equal to this 2 plus q upon 300 okay so this can be written like this if i transpose this 10 here here so 10 minus 2 becomes 8 which is equal to q upon 300 this is negative here obviously sorry for this mistake and if i transpose this term here so this will get added so 0 0.1 uh, 0 0.01 can be written as 1 upon 100 q which implies uh, so let us make denom denominator same multiplying this with 3 so this is 3q plus q comes out to be 4q that means 4q upon 300 is equal to 8 uh, which gives us q 
is equal to 8 into if I reciprocal locate it here and transpose so this becomes 300 upon 4 4 ones are 4 two are 8 2 threes are 600 that means q is equal to 600 that means equilibrium uh, aggregate market quantity will be equal to 600 that means uh, the this is the aggregate output uh, for the industry okay so this is our e uh, equilibrium aggregate output and what is individual firm supplying at equilibrium we know that n is the number of uh, firms let us say q is the individual firm uh, individual firm's quantity it should be equal to q okay if this is total output so total output will be equal to number of firms into uh, quantity supplied by each firm so n is 150 into q we need to find out this and this comes out to be 600 which means q is equal to 600 upon 150 that means q will be equal to dot dot gay that means it is 4 that means each uh, individual firm will supply 4 units and um, total units uh, that means what we call that aggregate uh, equilibrium output will be 600 okay so the option should be either 4 or 600 okay the question was uh, assuming perfect competition equilibrium quantity will be 4 if we take the equilibrium output produced by each individual firm then 4 units will be pro uh, produced uh, if we assume the aggregate equilibrium uh, output that means market is supplying sorry uh, equilibrium uh, output will be 600 okay so uh, you can write 4 or 600 both are same here okay I don't uh, mean that they are same actually this is the individual firm's uh, supply and this is the total uh, output being supplied in the industry okay I hope I make myself clear in this video thank you